स्टूडेंट स्टूडी इन बायोलॉजी किंगडम फंजाय चैप्टर नंबर एट यू विल लर्न अबाउट द मेथड्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन फंजाय सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पिक्चर ऑफ मशरूम्स इज शोन नॉ रिप्रोडक्शन इन फंजाय मोस्ट फंजाय कैन रिप्रोड्यूस बाय बोथ मैथड्स लाइक ए सेक्शुअल एंड सेक्शुअल एक्सेप्ट इम परफेक्ट फंजाय इट इज सेट सो बिकॉज देर इज नो सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन इट in which sexual reproduction has not been observed first one is asexual reproduction it takes place by so many structures like spores conidia which are asexual spores fragmentation formation of small pieces fragments and formation of outgrowths buds which is called budding spores are produced inside the reproductive structures called sporangia as you can see in the picture there is sporangium or sporangia in which spores are present sporangia are cut off from the hyphae thread like structures by separations called complete septa spores may be produced by sexual or asexual processes they are haploid non motile non moving and they do not need water for their spread or dispersal as you can see in the picture they are thread like structures called hyphae of fungi there are stalk structures called sporangium in which spores are produced spores are small they are produced in very large number and they are dispersed or spread by wind to great distances as they are light in weight they cause wide distribution of many kinds of fungi and then they spread diseases in plants so they are called plant pathogens structures are shown asexual like conidia which are asexual spores they are produced on stalked structures called conidiophore when spores land on a suitable place they germinate or grow and then giving rise to new fungal hyphae that is once again uh, thread like structures of fungi hyphae are produced spores may be dispersed or spread by other agencies like insects many other small animals rain splashes or droplets spores are a common means of reproduction in fungi now what are conidia conidia are non motile non moving asexual spores which are cut off at the end of modified or better hyphae called conidiophores as in the picture it is shown asexual spores there are sporangiophores containing sporangia and in which spores are produced and conidiophores in which conidia are present and not inside the sporangia usually in chains or clusters these may be produced in very large number they are talking about spores and they can survive for weeks they can cause rapid colonization of new food that is they spread around the food now fragmentation formation of small pieces or fragments it is simple breaking of mycelium of some fungal hyphae each broken small piece or fragment giving rise to a new fungal mycelium in fungi there are two terms used thread like structures called hyphae and body of fungus is called mycelium asexual reproduction in fungi most fungi can grow from a small piece of mycelium and then uh, form a fragment this process is called fragmentation unicellular yeasts reproduce by outgrowths bud and the process is called budding now what is it budding is an asymmetric irregular division in which tiny outgrowths or buds are produced which may separate from the parent and then grow now comes sexual reproduction second method details of sexual reproduction vary or differ in different groups of fungi but fusion or union of haploid nuclei and meiosis are common to all that is meiotic division occurs in them so haploid spores are produced with half number of chromosomes when fungi reproduce sexually hyphae of two genetically different but compatible mating reproductive types come together there is a term compatible it means capable of living together mating means reproductive which are capable of reproduction their cytoplasm fuse followed by nuclear fusion 
in two of the three main groups of fungi that is basidiomycetes and ascomycetes the fusion or union of nuclei is called karyogamy it doesn't occur immediately after the fusion or union of cytoplasm which is called plasmogamy that is there are two terms fusion of or union of nuclei is known as karyogamy and fusion of cytoplasm is known as plasmogamy instead the two genetic types with haploid nuclei from two individuals may coexist or live together and then divide in the same hypha of most of the life of the fungus that is increase their population such a fungal hypha or cell with two nuclei of different genetic types is called dikaryotic di means two karyotic means nucleus that is two nucleus or heterokaryotic hypha or cell because they are having two nuclei of different genetic types so they are called heterokaryotic hetero means different and karyotic means nucleus two nuclei of different genetic types different groups of fungi produce different type of spores haploid sexual spores as example is basidiospores and ascospores by meiosis in zygote these spores are produced in characteristic structures or fruiting bodies in basidiospores Uh, they are produced in a special structure called basidia or fruiting bodies are basidiocarps and ascomycetes produce special spores called acai and they are produced in fruiting bodies called ascocarps finally the picture of fungi is given that is they have cap stalk hyphae and body of fungus is mycelium